Hello and welcome back. Today I'm working on the brake, uh, I guess you could say the master cylinders and their mounting bracket that goes in the tunnel behind me. Since I have the gear off of the airplane, I'm uh, taking this time to kind of hoist it up and turn it sideways so it's a little easier to work on underneath uh, in the tunnel area you see. Well, a different tunnel than the one before. This this one goes in between the pilot co-pilot. Um, in the mono wheel configuration, this is where the mono wheel would retract up into. Since this is a tri gear, there's uh, a lot of empty space there, and so uh, placement of the master cylinders for the differential braking go there. Uh, there is no foot pedal brakes in the Europa. Um, even in the mono wheel, it used a single brake handle, hand lever, and same thing for the tri gear, uh, but for each of the differential left-right landing gear, uh, and that's how you also steer the airplane. Anyway, uh, I've got to make a place to mount it in, and so I'm working on that today, kind of getting the, uh, the basics down, finding a place, and creating templates. Once again, here's the airplane, and I'm going to go up in here and take a look. So this is the master brakes, there's two, and uh, they're Matco, and I have fabricated this mounting plate a while back, and now I've got to get it in its home. And so that's going to be right in here. So we're almost looking straight up from the bottom, but again the plane's on its side. So these levers go up in here see that very well and then right in here I've got to create some some brackets for this to mount onto uh, to the brackets will be affixed to the airplane and then I'll use uh, bolts with some uh, nut plates or something to to mount it this to um, so it becomes a permanent fixture well not a permanent but a a strong bond to the airplane but is also removable um, through this hole that I'm working in is the uh, monowheel hole and you can see it's kind of jagged because of all the pieces that went on the monowheel but I've got to create a cover for that and uh, I'll also be putting in a access panel so for maintenance or whatever I'll be able to undo a square hole or rectangle hole to get this in and out of um, so I want to keep that in mind. Uh, always always got to think of how you're going to get to something after you button it up. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a sad day if something breaks and you got to tear it apart to get to it. So as you can see with these templates, I've uh, put masking tape on them. And uh, the reason why masking tape makes it easy is as you lay it onto the side, you see how it folds, kind of contours and then you just trace that fold and then you cut it out. So this one will go up here. It doesn't have to be perfect um, and because you're going to be filling that in with some flux and, and uh, fiberglass so that'll take up any kind of voids but you want it close uh, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And so you can see how that just one, one pass with the masking tape, cut it out and no real fitting and you can see based on the shadow when I set it down it's it's mating up with that contour pretty good. Alright well I've got the braces cut out out of plywood as you can see here I've used those templates uh, from the cardboard and the masking tape transfer that over and then uh, sanded that down to the line and whatnot. Uh, the blue tape is to give me the clearance I need for bi-directional cloth laid up after I put the initial external layup out here and then I'll remove this and then do uh, layups on the inside and this blue tape here is to give me that relief so after uh, after that's bonded in place I'll have enough clearance to mount this bracket in place so as you can see that masking tape transfer of the contour worked out perfectly. Um, able to fit it right down on the, on the spot that I wanted. Um, minimal adjustments needed. And 
from this point I'm going to do a quick bond on the butt joint there just kind of hold it in place next I'll be doing a layup that'll go from the side of the aircraft tunnel wall to the uh, plywood face there and where they meet or the butt joint I'll be laying in a little flox which is cotton fiber mixed in with epoxy and that'll give it a nice radius uh, so the glass has a nice a curve to it if you will so it won't lift and create a, a weak point or air bubble and similar to what I have in here with this bracket as you can see there's there is a fillet right in there so it radiuses from the 90 so same thing once these are bonded in place then it's a matter of uh, figuring out where the best placement would be for possible nut plates so the centerpiece will be removable for maintenance uh, the other thing I have to consider is the clearance on the bars there that are protruding into the cockpit uh, the brake levers uh, as you can see they're, they're touching against that plate so once I get these bonded in place and I'll do some final fitment uh, to make sure that uh, minimal changes have to be done to that cover plate. 